I don't know how to put these back together again. <laughs> kind of doing a video here though. Hey there, jerk faces. So Lanky Lefty 27 back for another mask review. And today we're gonna to be doing the Fisher. Okay, this is, I don't know how to say it apparently, because the mask rep always says Fisher Peichel. Uh, everyone I know calls it Fisher Paykel. I don't know, I, I don't know what to call it. So, this is the Bravita. And now the Bravita, so the thing you have to know about Fisher Paykel is that they have a long, they have a history of stupid names. So they have the Simplus for the full face mask. That's kind of a cool name. Simplus makes it sound easy, you know, Simplus. Then they had the Eson, which is nose backwards. That's dumb. Uh, then they had, before this one, this is like the, the sequel to the Pilaro. And now with all the Pilaro marketing, they were saying like, oh, it's supposed to, it was inspired by a hummingbird because the, the wings are hummingbird-like. Doesn't look like a hummingbird to me. But if you wanna have it um, reflect that you think it's inspired by a hummingbird, why not just call it the hummingbird? <gasps> Instead they call it the Polaro. It's stupid. Okay, but anyway, they made some improvements and now they're calling it the Bravita. Cause it's, it's the Bravita. I don't know what that means. So now we have the Bravita. Now the Bravita, if we are to compare it to the Polaro, there's some uh, kind of big, yet kind of not differences in it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the Bravita. Um, first thing is they made a lot of adjustments to pretty much everything, but the essence of it is still pretty much there. Uh, and the reason I say that is the shape of this is very much like the Polaro. The Polaro was a little bigger though, and so when you put it in and you turned it on, it would kind of envelop your nose. This doesn't envelop your nose quite as much, really, if at all. Um, and so that's one of the main differences. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing is entirely up to you. I personally think it's a good thing because you don't get your nose all sweaty and you know it's a little more breathable. You don't feel like it's quite as suffocating on you. So I would say that that's an improvement over the Polaro. Another improvement over the Polaro is the headgear. Keep in mind, I'm just comparing this to the uh, Polaro. The headgear. Headgear is super easy to get on and off. So just up the nose before you turn it on, put it here. Then you're gonna turn it on, it's gonna puff up around it. But I mean, pretty easy, right, to get on and off. Huh? The next thing that you're gonna notice is it has a different diffuser. So this is the same diffuser that they're now using on the Eson 2. Um, the Eson had one that was disposable, it was a white filter, disposable, and now this one is reusable and washable, and you can tell because it's got the gray color. But it's, it's durable, and it does cut down on the noise just a little bit. But easy to get on and off. Just soap and water to clean it. Uh, also the cushion, well, let's go, let's go step by step. You also have the ball and socket joint. So any movement at all in bed, it's not gonna like tweak it away from your face. Nice movement. And the next thing is that the cushion itself, if you wanna swap between it, right now I have a medium large on here. It also comes in an extra small, small. And I'll show you the difference of these in just a second when I take this off. But pulling this off is easy. Just grab the side and pull it off. Now, they have this stuff called Busy Blue, and so you'll see that the inside of this is blue, the inside of this is blue, like, <laughs> like somehow you're gonna miss it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to put these back together again. <clears throat> no, I think most people can figure it out, but I mean, it's, it's quite dummy proof at this point. So now as promised, Let's take a look at what the extra small slash small and the medium slash large, what's the difference? So you can see here that this is the extra small small, this is the medium large. And you can just see that these are bigger. The whole thing is bigger. So if you have nostrils that are larger, this is gonna be gross. So you can see my nostrils are fairly large-ish. Uh, look at the nostrils on here. If you have really small nostrils, you're gonna have a hard time shoving these in there. Uh, though if you do, you'd probably be fine with it. Um, but if you had large nostrils and you tried to use the small ones, you're going to have a tough time drawing breath. You're going to feel like you're really working to draw breath. And so you'll feel kind of suffocated and you'd want to go to the larger size. Uh, these, if you have smaller nostrils, you're going to have to fold them up in there. So you're probably not going to get as good a seal. So you'd want to use the smaller ones. 
probably wondering about what size these are. If I were to flatten this out and make it perfectly circular, it's about the size of a P. If I were to do that with the uh, extra small slash small, it's about the size of a small P. <laughs> it's so stupid. And with the headgear, they're sticking with the, the older headgear, which is not, not to be bad. It's, it's good. It's quite durable. It also has this Velcro, which doesn't fray this material over a long period of time. And it also has these little ridges in here for ratcheting on this. It kind of keeps it in the right spot. Makes it nice. If you were to want to get this off for some reason and wash it separately, you can see there's kind of like a hook here. Just push it in, unhook it. You can snap it back on pretty easily. Really easy to take apart. Here's my one beef with this mask at this point as far as how it's made. And keep in mind, we've been using these in the lab just, a, you know, probably, I'm going to say about a month, month and a half. Um, I'm not a real big fan of this tube. The tubing has not to this point failed, but I can see someone getting home with this and getting a little rough with it in bed, <laughs> whatever that means, and this breaking or folding over. I don't like the material this is made out of. I've seen it before. The material that this is made out of, I've seen before, and it, again, don't, I don't have any proof for this. It hasn't happened yet, but it's just that same material that just, it, it seems like a cheaper version of tubing than, than it should be. And lastly, you have down here the um, quick release. I think this is dumb. It's not even needed. But this part can come apart from this. That is harder to do and causes more confusion than just pulling it out of your actual tubing. Because you lose this piece in the tubing and then you wonder how to attach this to anything, not realizing that you've lost this. So just be aware of that and that taking it off from the tubing, it's like breaking bread versus trying to pull this off much harder. Right there, that's where it's at, buddy. I'm gonna do a quick sound test with this thing, uh, with a diffuser, just so you have something to compare it to. So you're gonna open these up, put them in your nostrils. I'll get a side view so you could uh, hear it better. I'm gonna hold my breath so you can hear the difference of just the air flowing through. This is without the diffuser. And now I'll put it on and do it with. So you can tell the diffuser does actually quiet it down quite a bit, but it's still quiet even without it. If for some reason you lost it or it grew mold on it, it was disgusting. Okay, let's do a quick check in the bed. All right, I have this on 10 centimeters of water pressure. All right, now on the side, tried to bury my face into the pillow. Now, I don't know if you heard that, but there's a slight whistling sound to it. And now when I use this at night, I actually use it at a much lower pressure. I use it at seven centimeters of water pressure, not 10, because 10, 10 is uncomfortable for me. I think it's too much. Um, seven's perfect though, and it didn't make that whistling sound. Um, so I had a very good leak right there. And because I didn't test it at 10, that's news to me. Uh, but it was making that whistling sound. And I don't know if it's a bum one. I tried it with the other pillow as well. I was getting the same whistling sound, so I don't know if it's from somewhere else in the mask or if there's a hole somewhere, but I didn't hear that when I was trying it out and I wore it for a solid couple weeks there. Uh, so that's interesting. So here's my review, if you will. And please, in the comment section below, if you have any different opinion about this, let me know. I, by, by no means is this the end all be all. But when I use this for a good couple weeks, I never had that whistling, hissing sound that you heard. I was using it at 10 centimeters right now. When I use it during the test, I use it at seven centimeters of water pressure. Now it's a good three centimeters of water pressure less. And I did not hear that whistling sound on each exhalation. So that's completely new to me. I changed the cushion. The cushion wasn't the issue. So it's coming somewhere from the tubing, uh, which I felt is cheap. I don't know if there's a hole in it. I don't see one, nor did I feel one, but that's it. My overall impression of this is I hate nasal pillow masks, so I'm a hard sell with it. 
when I wore this for just, you know, just now, like when I wore it for about 10 minutes, it doesn't bother me. When I wear it all night, it really starts to bother me. After a couple hours, I start waking up. I feel like the inside of my nose is extremely dry. I feel like my brain is being blasted with cold air. And this is with having a heated humidification set to five. I'm using a System 1 Respironix machine. It's as high as those go, and it gives me absolutely no relief. It's the same like that with pretty much every nasal pillow mask that I use, so keep that in mind. But I get the chaffing, hey. chaffing, oh my God, it's not even a word. I get the chafing on the inside of my nose, and I get that with every single mask, but if I, if I really wanted to use specifically a nasal pillow mask, I would not use this. I'd probably go with the P10. Headgear is the same, it's lighter, it's smaller, and I didn't get any whistling sounds when I tried it at 10 centimeters of water pressure. If I wanted to use something else, I'm like, I still need a nasal pillow mask, but oh, I listen to Jason and I don't like that. I don't want to get that nasal chafing and chapping feeling on the inside of my nose. Just use a Dreamwear, a Respironix Dreamwear. Those work great and you get all the benefits of a nasal pillow mask, but without any of the cons of a nasal pillow mask, that being increased uh, nosebleeds, uh, nasal dryness, congestion, etc. What's up, cat? You can come visit me? Yeah? All right. Kind of doing a kind of doing a video here though. So that's pretty much it. If you have any comments or questions on the Fisher Paykel Brevita, let me know. You can let me know in the comment section. Again, if you have a different differing opinion with this, let me know below. Again, this thing might be a good mask, especially considering Fisher Paykel always has a lower price point than other people. At least they seem to have a much lower price point and you're paying it out of pocket. It might be a good option for you. Um, overall though, I wasn't entirely impressed by it. Um, hey, if you want to help out what we do here, you can do several things. I'm going to put them in the description box below. You can do a straight PayPal donation to help us out. You can just, every time you shop Amazon, you can use our Amazon affiliate link, again, down below. Costs you nothing. I just get a referral fee every time you use it. Another thing you can try is you can be, uh, you can join us on Patreon and subscribe to us there. You can do it as low as a dollar a month or as high as you want. Though a dollar a month is more than enough. And the final thing that you can do is you can help support us by buying Masprite. Masprite is a product I developed. It's to clean your mask, takes the grease, dirt, oils off of your mask so that you have a good seal every time and your mask smells fresh like, like an orange grove every time you go to sleep. That would help us out. You can buy that off of uh, maskbrite.com or you can also buy it off of Amazon and just search for Masprite. And again, I think, I, think I'll put it, I think I'll put a link in the description box below. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching. Again, this is the link you left to 27, and uh, have a good night's sleep. Now, I've been doing a couple masks lately, and uh, let's go ahead and just get started because you don't really care about the other one. You're not looking at it. Hey, jerk face, it's a lanky lefty 27.